Hey, what makes the Adventure Sport Track RV frame superior to all the other RV frames? Stay tuned, we're gonna find out. If you own an RV or even if you've been looking into buying an RV, be it a uh, Class A uh, travel trailer, fifth wheel, I'm sure you've heard frame failure or frame flex. It is pretty big in the RV industry right now. There's a lot of issues going on. There's a lot of variables to it. And it, if it happens to you, be it a travel trailer, or a fifth wheel, as in chassis failure. It's gonna cause you to stop your travels until it's repaired. It could be a minor repair, it could be a major repair, but we're not gonna be talking about frame failure or frame flex. What we're gonna be talking about is the Venture chassis frame. Bell Products, and it is part of Norco Products Division. This frame is a beast. It is designed like a truck chassis frame. The spring hanger brackets that you've been hearing about breaking, ripping away from the chassis, just like this. That's scary. And with my other RVs that I've owned, I uh, had those and I constantly was checking on those. But check out these. These are fast track brackets for the spring hanger brackets. They're designed like an automotive bracket. And check them out. is a leaf spring bracket. It's automotive design and they're fastened with the hook fasteners right here, right there, and right up there, right up there. <clears throat> you have three of them on each side and they are definitely beefy. Man, aren't those a beast? They are designed to withstand road travel, going on uh, harsh roads, hitting a bump. Uh, they allow for consist consistently being placed on the frame. Uh, that axle will be true every time. Back to the uh, brackets itself. They're fastened with hook fasteners. Uh, they will not vibrate loose. They're designed a specific way. Throughout the frame they have huck fasteners. Any of the welds are robotic welds. The huck fasteners are five times stronger than a weld. And you're gonna find them on almost every bracket if not all brackets. Even the trailer hitch bracket is fastened by these huck fasteners. More expensive than your regular fastener by far are top-notch uh, you're not going to have any issues with those even if you hit a bump I mean you're going to have to hit a pothole like they have in Detroit that swallows vehicles uh, to cause any issues and most likely it's going to pop a tire if you hit one of those potholes not picking on Detroit at all just the roads the chassis was engineered like a truck chassis throughout they're using the fasteners they're using robot robotic welds uh, cnc machines this frame is designed f by far better than any other rv frame that i've seen my background 
was in the frame business. I had 27 and a half years in the automotive industry with uh, frames, manufacturing of frames. I was on the product side and the quality side of the house. And I was an on-site quality liaison at a major truck manufacturer. I, I know frames. The other fasteners that other manufacturers use are uh, your standard uh, alloy uh, nut and bolts. At, uh, the nuts that they put on there vibrate loose so they double them up. Instead of using a really good lock nut or lock tight, and you have to check them constantly. Uh, it, my pop up, I had to go underneath constantly check them, and then I just purchased some more nuts and doubled them up so I wouldn't have to keep checking them. These hook fasteners are designed in a certain way as the thread, and this is from their website. on how they're designed. But also, this is the specifics of the frame from their website. This is the first year that Venture has manufactured the fifth wheel. They've been in the uh, TT business, travel trailer business, and they produce very nice units. When we went to the RV show in January in Louisville. Uh, we came across this. We were blown away by the layout, the details, and it, it just fell in love with it. The RV itself um, has issues, and I'll go into that in another video. Just hit the uh, subscribe and notification bell and you'll get notified when that gets uploaded. But let's go back to the frame and let's go talk about how this is manufactured and how it's constructed. Here we are in the front basement of the fifth wheel and we're looking at the side members and the tubular cross member. We're looking at the robotic weld at this joint. It is a good weld. There is no prosody, no off seam. There's good penetration. All the welds look like this. I did not find any defects in any of the welds. Here we are on the right side front looking at the gusset support and we are looking at the hook fasteners no quality issues with the weld whatsoever the support bracket or gusset the angled support is large enough to support that beam this is the opposite side and up above that is additional weld this is the front storage compartment The outside support beam. There's an outrigger and additional outriggers down the side rail. These black caps to your right are puck fasteners. Inside of the propane compartment, support beam.
the exact axle mount flyer allows for consistency throughout their framing process. When they're mounting the axles, they're mounted correctly every time with the uh, standard that they have. I tell you, I am impressed with these axle mounts. Um, the leaf spring mounts, hangers, they're beefy and uh, they're not gonna break on you. And they are allowing to be set correctly every time. The slide out systems to include the leveling systems are also produced by Ball Norco Industries. Your stabilizers are also fastened to the side rail with the hook fasteners. The brackets are beefy. This frame is well engineered. Well thought process on it. Your drop frame on the front is connected with heavy duty brackets to the rest of the chassis. They're well designed. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this frame. Uh, long term, short term, and if I do, I'll definitely post them. But this being a new RV, fifth wheel on the market, uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot out there in the YouTube world about any failures that have happened. I don't think we're going to see it like we've been seeing in the uh, RV market. Granted, the RV uh, industry has uh, some of the companies have stepped up and uh, offered extended warranties, uh, five year warranties. They haven't cheaped out on this frame, not one bit. The spare tire bracket has a automotive crank on it, where it will lower it and raise it. And that's really convenient. It's, like I said, this has been designed for the RV to tow it down the road without any issues great engineering they thought about the process in detail and I just can't say enough they did a great job kudos to them I'm glad somebody stepped up to the plate and addressed a lot of the issues that's been happening and they just hit it out of the park did bang great job but if you have any questions uh, leave a comment think I'm wrong leave a comment I truly believe that this frame is going to help the RV industry to grow further and think out outside of the box I really do but, uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button and happy trails everybody hey, be safe be humble